We've seen our prep sports athletes showcase their skills throughout season 15. We also have seen them make unbelievable plays that have left me speechless, and what you're about to see will do the same for you. That's right, I bring you the top 10 plays of the season, and this award is sponsored by Trunell Insurance. Let's start the top 10 with Matia Valley basketball player Quinton Schaefer. His team trails Wabonzi Valley by two in the final seconds of the game. Charlie Nosek leaves his jumper short, but Schaefer is in the right place at the right time for the putback to send the game into overtime. Great poise by the Mustang to kick off the list. There weren't many instances where I witnessed action above the rim this year in basketball. However, for 6'9", Kyle Thomas from Bennett Academy, it was a fairly common occurrence. Like on this play where he throws down the two-handed alley-oop slam from Nikola Abusara. Now that's an athlete. Eastern Illinois should be excited to have this high flyer. Rivalry games can bring out the best in athletes, and that certainly was the case with Taylor Curry in this Valley matchup between Niqua and Wabonzi. With the game on the line tied at 62, Curry spins into the lane, tosses it up as she's falling down, and puts it in at the buzzer to help her Warriors edge the Wildcats. Let's switch gears for some soccer. This play is something you don't see every day. Lucy Iverson launches a free kick from midfield. It takes a big bounce. The goalie misplays it, and somehow it's a goal. Now, it was helped by the goalie mishap, but regardless, a crazy shot by Iverson. The prayer is answered, and that's good for our number seven play. Here's another clutch shot on the court, this time from Naperville Central's James Jokes. In a tie game on senior night against Wabonzi Valley with time winding down, DVC Player of the Year Jonah Hinton kicks it to Jopes, who buries the three at the horn to win the game for Naperville Central. He'll never forget that moment. Now we go to the boys' soccer sectional semifinal between Naperville Central and Oswego East. Red Hawks have a throw in, Nathan Quant's header attempt bounces in the air, and Mateo Lopez pulls off an impressive bicycle kick goal. Him and his teammates lose their minds after that one. Wayne Rooney would be proud. Andrew Aaron Borgo didn't just win the game in overtime for Nequa Valley Lacrosse against Naperville North, he did it in spectacular fashion as well. His twin brother Adam penetrates and finds Andrew, who goes behind his back to score the game-winning goal. What a ridiculous shot. <music> Naperville North quarterback Aiden Gray came up with the biggest play on the biggest stage in the DVC Bowl against Nequa Valley. He's under duress, but he's able to escape. He weaves his way through the defense and scores the game-winning touchdown to win the conference title for the Huskies. In the boys lacrosse sectional semifinal, Bennett Academy captain Cam Randolph comes through in the clutch as he sprints inside, gets hit, dives, and nets the go-ahead goal with just two left on the clock. What an amazing effort by the senior to send his team past Hinsdale Central into the sectional final. Although this play was good enough to trump them all, final seconds of the boys water polo sectional championship Husky captain Tyson Berg takes the pass and quickly fires to the back of the net with two seconds left. This unforgettable moment secures a sectional title for Naperville North over Naperville Central, and the reaction says it all. That is our number one play.